first fish on. It's gotten hit two or three times. This is a two inch lineman. And on the other rod, I'm just gonna quit pedaling. Oh, did I just, oh, I just lost him, I think. Oh no, he's still there. Swimming right at me, okay. Um, on the, this other one, I have a two inch maglip and it hasn't been hit at all. Um, or this lineman probably got bumped three or four times and been fishing for 15 minutes and then just landed this guy. Not real big, but I've been seeing some really nice fish hit the surface. Okay, there we go, nice little rainbow. We'll go ahead and uh, get this other one changed out. I'm gonna put on a dodger and a little spinner that I piece some parts from old lures together. Um, and made up just last night. Off he goes. All right. Hopefully more to come. All right. So I was just going to show you this spinner. So this is, I have um, multiple like old wedding rings and Rocky Mountain Tackle spinners and some other um, brand spinners that as they get dull, I take the hooks off um, and just put them in a baggie. So last night, I mean, this is mostly wedding ring parts, but I don't know um, if this originally came together. So it's a UV blade, which I buy, um, I've bought a little bit different ones um, in the past, but then it's more of a pink on the bottom instead of an orange. So it's from a pink, I think UV spinner. And then I've added that glow bead. Um, and I just, yeah, just threw it together and thought it looked like the ticket. And then I've got a worm behind it. I've got a Rocky Mountain tackle, kind of the purple watermelon and we're gonna run it without weight because these fish are on the surface. And hopefully, we're gonna catch some fish. Put another one on. I'm gonna quit paddling. Hey. All right, I think I lost this one for real. Oh no, we didn't. <laughs> Every time. It's just not, this, uh, this lake has a lot of really big fish. Um, lots of planters, obviously, too. But we have the potential of catching some some really nice rainbows. Oh, this one's a little better. Oh, you're okay. You're okay. You're okay. All right. Okay. Not looking very healthy. Has some coca pods on it. Um, which is kind of a bummer to see him looking like that coming into winter. But the last one looked a bit healthier, but we'll just let it get out of here. Off it goes. Once again, that's on that two inch lineman. Um, so this little lake, that has, that's been one of my best lures. Um, and it continues to be. So, well, big fish just jumped over there. That's what we want. All right, well, I will get this guy back in the water and hopefully some more fish to come. Okay. <laughs> I was reeling this in to see if it had weeds on it. Maybe a little better fish. Um, and it hit, so apparently it didn't have weeds on it. That's a decent fish, maybe a little bigger than that last one. So, once again, this is on that Rocky Mountain Tackle Horn Stroger. Yeah, this one. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, we met it. That 
a little healthier looking fish too. Which is good. Yeah, significantly heavier. That is uh, a trophy trout, they call them, that's been stocked by the fish and game. You can see that kind of beat up tail. At least I'm assuming that's what it is, just because it looks beat up, but nice, big, thick, healthy fish. You know, maybe a couple pounds. And uh, yeah, it's, well, I'm not gonna bother measuring it, but maybe 18, so cool. We'll let him go. Uh-oh, we might be keeping him. Huh, that's weird. Well, maybe it just needs a nicer release, we'll see. Only had him out of the water for a few seconds, but he is kind of acting lethargic. Oh wow, I wonder if part of it, I can see his gills are just loaded, it looks like, with coca pots as he's breathing. Like, more than I've ever seen. Um, really, oh, he's, he's acting spunky now. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see that, hopefully with my head cam, I think it's on. It is, wow, that is terrible. Yeah, these coke pods are brutal. Um, I think he's gonna take off, he or she, but yeah, definitely. But pretty sad. Those parasites are just packed in its gills. Yeah, off it goes. Yeah, swam off great, but. Yeah, it's sad. Um, I feel like the last few years, for whatever reason, I've been fishing this lake since um, 2017. And the first fish I caught out of this lake, I didn't see a single coca pod. And whether that was a coincidence or not, I don't know. Um, but it just seems like it's progressively gotten worse. And it's it's definitely impacting these fish as you can see that big healthy fish really only out of the water for a few seconds hooked in the corner of the mouth acting very lively but quickly ran out of breath you could say um, and i would assume because of those coca pods so pretty terrible um, i see them a lot in the winter when i ice fish this too so fairly persistent but all right we'll keep fishing i'm glad that it released well and I think I'll just have to be that much more careful today with um, only having them out of the water for just a very brief moment and sending them on their way. So, all right, more to come. All right, fish on. On. So I just put on a Thomas Buoyant spoon and oh, let's say 10-15 minutes it hooked up. So it's kind of a blue spoon 
I'll show you the colors. It's like a blue back, kind of a rainbow, but it's not their actual rainbow pattern. The rainbow pattern they have is um, a painted green with white kind of belly and some spots and then silver on the other side. And this one is more reflective on both sides, just kind of has some blue coloring. Just feels like a average fish out of here. Kind of a little guy, but loaded with coca pods again. Wow, too bad. So it's kind of gross how how many they have on them. So I'm gonna show you this other side of him. Just loaded with coke pods down his tail, everywhere. So we're gonna hurry and get him back in. Yeah, off he goes. All right. So this little spoon, the Thomas Boyant, one of my favorites, um, both for casting, trolling, and even um, for jigging through the ice. It's, it's just a really versatile little spoon. Fairly light, so in wind and stuff it doesn't cast great. Um, but I'd say that's kind of its only, only real flaw. So it has that standard black, red, and yellow spotting pattern that a lot of the Thomases have. And then it just, as you can see, has that red dorsal stripe like so many, and then that shiny blue. And then it's silver on the back. This is kind of the larger size, um, which is a quarter ounce. And yeah, we'll, we'll get it back in. Right on. It's like a pretty good one. So I start going deeper. This is on a big eye glow crush Rocky Mountain Tackle Dodger and then the same spinner I was using actually yesterday at Diamond Lake. It's that um, Gibbs blade. I don't know if it's a homemade one. It's just a bunch of beads and a kind of a wedding ring and um, and then this blade that's a Gibbs brand. And this may be a net jobber. Uh, no. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. You're not going to believe this. I've caught these through the ice here. I, I'm shocked. I just caught a mud cat on a dodger and a spinner. So these are actually invasive. So this guy will not be going back in. Um, and but yeah. So I actually have, oh no, it's not on a video. Um, I had a time last winter that I was um, sitting there and I had my dual rigs. If you've not seen how I, I modify these Dodgers for ice fishing, it's really cool. You can look that video up, but I was fishing that and um, I kind of felt like I had a bite and then it was just feeling like something kept bumping it and I couldn't you know, figure it out and I'd set the hook and it felt kind of heavy, but not a fish. And then finally slam and I get a you know a solid bite and I reel that fish in and I have about a um, 16 18 inch rainbow on the top one on the floating bait because I run two baits and then on the worm on the bottom I've got just a little like a, a four inch um, little mud cap maybe I'll see if I have a picture of that and put it in right here um, but uh, yeah that uh, it's too bad these are in here. Hopefully they don't get out of control, but uh, he's, he's not going back in the water. So I think I'm gonna call it. Uh, it's starting to rain a little bit, uh, which this little bit of rain doesn't bother me, but it is supposed to get quite a bit worse. I was thinking it wasn't going to rain until like 10 or 11. And it's like 8.30, so came early, and it's looking pretty cloudy. The sun's almost completely covered up, so I think I'll work my way back to the ramp and get out of here before it gets too bad. Um, just wanted to talk a little bit about 
kind of trolling techniques in general before I uh, call it a day. So I fish this lake a lot, and uh, even yesterday I was at Diamond Lake, which I fished before, and I mean, sometimes you have to really adjust and think outside the box. You know, I've done certain things at Diamond Lake and they weren't working. We adjusted, we made it work. Today, you know, I've, I've had successful lures, speeds, locations on this lake, which I'm a South Twin, and kind of the same thing here today. The, the norm uh, didn't work today. I, but I mean, I trolled through some spots that usually I just am picking up fish immediately and didn't get anything and then moved on and, you know, got into some fish. So just really, uh, you know, don't hesitate to switch things up and, you know, trap uh, different locations on the lake if you're not catching fish. And today, really, I just started cruising around, and when I started seeing a lot of fish activity on the surface, I was just kind of moving through that activity, and that's where I was the most productive. So, which is not an uncommon thing for me to do, but it was in a location that I had never caught fish on this lake. So, um, just shake it up and keep at it, and hopefully those you know, tough days where you're struggling can turn into to good days. So it was a good day. Um, it didn't take me very long to dial them in and I only fished for two and a half hours and I think I ended up with uh, at least five or six fish and missed a few. So fun morning. And it's always good to be out here. Once again, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, don't hesitate to comment. Please like and subscribe. We'll catch you later. Fish on.